I'm always looking for a way to be warmer on trail. And as winter starts to get colder, one of the top priorities on my mind is how to stay warm even while I'm sleeping. Most people think that the only way that you can stay warm when it starts to get colder is simply by buying the most expensive uh, mummy style bag they can find and it just feels like your arms are just like straight jacketed in and you can't move at all at night. But I'm here to tell you that there is a better way. There is light at the end of that tiny little mummy style tunnel that you're looking down. It is a backpacking quilt. Have you ever tried a backpacking quilt? So today I'm here to tell you my honest opinion about the most recent quilt that I've had the chance to try out that was sent to me. Y'all liked my last video where it was pretty much short and sweet and it was just straight to the point with the specs of the gear and what I liked about it and what I didn't like about it. So I figured I'd do that for you guys right here. So let's get right into it. This is the Eastern Mountain Sports Clarity 20 degree ultralight down backpacking quilt. Real quick, let's just talk about the differences when we're comparing backpacking quilts to backpacking sleeping bags. So typically we're referring to the mummy style bags. So starting with the mummy style bags, the idea behind the mummy bags is basically restrict as much space around your body as possible. The less area that there is around your body, um, the less that your body heat actually has to warm up in order to keep you warm at night. And I'll admit, it absolutely does work wonderfully. It's hard to compete with a mummy bag when it comes to the most warmth that you can get. But the thing is that for anybody that's not used to having their hands and feet tied to their sides all night long, sometimes it's just as bad of a sleep as you would have had if you were cold. And so that is where the backpacking quilt comes in. The idea behind the backpacking quilt is simply to utilize the insulated sleeping pad that you should already have. And if you don't, get one. If you have a pad that's insulated, there's not really a need for any insulation on your back because your pad's already gonna be reflecting almost all of your body heat right back onto you. So that's what the quilt does. Basically, a backpacking quilt has no material on your back. It only has most of the insulation, almost all of the insulation, focused on the top and the sides of you, which is great because it makes it feel a whole lot more like a duvet or a comforter that you might have at home, where it just kind of like lays on top of you like the most comfortable and warm cloud you've ever experienced in all of your life. It doesn't constrict you at all, and because you have that material that was taken away from the back, you also do save on some weight. Now, quilts do have a closed foot box, um, like on the back even, because that's where you can easily become cold at night. Everybody's feet gets cold in the night, so they have a closed foot box uh, just to ensure that your feet don't get cold at night. Now, let's talk specifically about this quilt that I have. This quilt has 850 fill down insulation, which is insane. The loft is crazy. Loft is where you get a lot of your warmth at night. It also allows for it to be really compressible. I mean, this quilt compresses into an absolutely unbelievable size, and it is super warm at night. This specific one has a comfort rating of about 32 degrees. However, it is tested down to 20 degrees and even lower than that but the comfort rating for us is about 32 degrees. Now Eastern Mountain Sports, the company that sent me this quilt, uh, has colder options for their quilts actually. This is just like the mid-range quilt that they have, but they do have colder options you can also explore. So Eastern Mountain Sports sent me this quilt when it was actually still pretty warm outside and so I couldn't really justify using it, but I hated like this beautiful quilt just sitting on my shelf getting dusty while I waited for it to cool down. Especially here in Tennessee where it will be like 20 degrees one day and the next day it's gonna be 70 and balmy. So I couldn't wait any longer one time and I took it out on a trip um, and it was kind of like a low of 60 that night. So I was afraid I was gonna be super hot, but the cool thing about a quilt is also if you're a little bit warm at night, you can kind of just push down the duvet, push down the quilt a little bit until you're right at the comfort level that you wanna be at. This Clarity Down quilt has a naked weight of 21.7 ounces, so it is super lightweight for trail. This quilt is also very durable. Its shell is made out of ripstop nylon, so you can trust it to be able to make it and last along your trips. The cool thing that a lot of backpacking quilts have, and I know for sure this one does, is like elastic straps around the back of them. This allows you to reach around your sleeping pad and to the other side of the quilt where it clips on. This is gonna keep down the sides of your quilt so that way no drafts get in at night, but also as you're like tossing and turning, if you're one of those people that do toss and turn, instead of the insulation kind of being picked up and you get a breeze or it's kind of colder on that side, these elastic straps keep it down around you nicely to where you can toss and turn inside of this quilt as much as you want and it's not gonna budge an inch. The thing you probably don't know about a lot of mummy style bags is that most of their insulation is also focused on the top and the sides of you since they assume you have an insulated pad. But the problem is that if you toss and turn at night and you have a mummy style bag on and you turn up onto your side, your back where there's less insulation is exposed to the cold air. With a quilt where the sides are kind of tucked in on your pad and you can roll underneath the quilt, 
This allows for no matter how you turn at night, you're not gonna be exposed to that cold air. There's also a draw cord near uh, the neck portion of this quilt that allows you to kind of cinch in on it a little bit if you wanna make sure to keep out a lot more of the drafts. All of the down from this quilt is collected in a humane way from geese and ducks. And a portion of all of the EMS brand products does go to conservation efforts around the world. All right, so yeah, that's basically it of this video. That's the straight facts of the quilt. Um, I'm gonna be sticking to backpacking quilts for a long time, I have a feeling, just cause I love the way it feels and my sleep has improved tremendously since I started using one. Huge shout out to Eastern Mountain Sports for sending me this amazing quilt and allowing me to try it. If you guys are looking for the right gear, uh, give EMS a try. They've got online websites where you can look at all sorts of brands of gear, not just the EMS products, and there you have the quality stuff that you're looking for 100% of the time. But also they have a few outlets. If you live in the New England area of the United States, feel free to look around, see if there is an outlet near you. That's Eastern Mountain Sports. And yeah, so if you have the opportunity to go check them out, they've got a lot of great gear. As always, thank you all for watching. If you have any comments about this video, how I can improve it, what you think you disagree or agree with me with, just let me know in the comments down below. If you like it, please like it. If you uh, like it a lot, go ahead and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.